All right, so we are here at Sobeys, and uh, like we try to do on this blog, I want to find ways to introduce you to people in the community who are able to support you and the changes that you're making. Doesn't matter if you're in this to try to lose weight or just to try to make healthier choices for you and your family. All along for the last six months, we've been looking at ways to get fit, to get active, and just in every way to make better choices. And one of the ways I've been able to do that through the Surgical Weight Loss Center, especially in the early days, was working incredibly closely with my dietitian, both in terms of setting goals, but also in literally, you know, on the plate, making the right choices and learning so much. Because early on, what I, you know, those first steps working with a dietitian was really about me learning what I didn't know and setting that baseline for education. And honestly, every day since then has been a chance to learn something new. So here uh, in town uh, at Sobeys, we actually have in Glace Bay and at Sobeys on Prince Street in Sydney, uh, we have Janelle, who works as a community dietitian in both locations. You split your time between the two, That's right? That's right. Must yeah. keep you busy. <laughs> Very busy, yeah. Well, thanks a million for uh, inviting us in. Huh? Great. And, yeah, uh, we're here at Sobeys in Glace Bay. Yeah, this is the Glace Bay location. It's kind of cool to be up here, I have to say. Now we should point out that we're going to talk about some classes and a chance for you guys to come in and be a part of what Janelle does here at Sobeys here and in Sydney. And uh, if you do, you'll get to see this community room, which is set up with a full kitchen overview of the store. <clears throat> this is where you actually do your classes. Yeah, most everything happens up here. We do a lot on the floor as well, label reading tours and all that stuff. Um, looking at products, but we do a lot up here in the kitchen and classroom settings. So very, it's very pretty cool. awesome to have that here at the grocery store. So let's talk a little bit about exactly you know what it is that does that, that happens here. Uh, it's it might be funny for people at first to find out that a grocery store that sells everything has a dietitian on staff. Yeah, well, it's just all about promoting health and helping people make better choices here at the grocery store. So what better place to learn about healthy eating and nutrition than the place that you buy your food anyway? So I actually work as part of the Sobeys Pharmacy, so it's just a health promotion team. At Prince Street, we have a whole wellness team, so I work with the pharmacist, the chef, the chef, the well-being counselor, and myself, the dietitian. So we're all just trying to help people live better, make better choices, and it just makes sense because you're here to buy your food anyway. So part of what we're going to do is put up a schedule of classes that are here uh, at Sobeys, both locations, yeah. uh, set out for the rest of September and the whole month of October is laid yeah. out as well. And uh, you know, these classes are, are free. Yeah, so free, cl free classes. And it's actually brand new to Cape Breton. Um, this is the first time we've had a Sobeys dietitian ever in uh, Sydney, Glace Bay are the locations for now and I guess we'll see where it goes from there. Um, but we've had Sobeys dietitians around Atlantic Canada for about 12 years. So it's a really great program. Our classes have always been free and um, I teach everything from you know how to eat to control your blood sugar if you have diabetes, how to lower your cholesterol, your blood pressure, um, manage a gluten-free diet with celiac disease, plus just stuff for the average Joe who's trying to eat better. So we do healthy cooking classes. We do a 10-week healthy weight program, which I'm currently running over six weeks here in Sydney and Glace Bay. Oh my goodness, what else? There's just all kinds of stuff that we do, and, and just about everything is offered free of charge, and you just call and register. You know, and I, I saw you out there on the floor before, and you're getting stopped constantly just by customers mm -hmm. in the store mm -hmm. who, are, who are asking you questions. Yeah. So let's, let's talk a little bit about, uh, I guess, what's the starting point for most people? Are most people as educated nutritionally as, I guess, as a dietitian would hope they would be? Uh, most people are, you know, most people that come to talk to me, they, they have a starting point. By the time they decide they're going to do something good for their health and health and, uh, you know, seek out the dietitian in the store and see what she has to say, I get asked a lot about, is there something that I can take to help me lose weight? Mm. Is there just, people are looking for a quick fix. Um, for sure, and uh, it's as as you know, as you've learned along your journey, you know it's it's not about a quick fix, but it doesn't have to be hard either. Just sort of making a little change here and there. So sometimes that's not what people want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's what I'm going to tell you as a dietitian. So. so you know, out of everything that that you do here, what do you find is like the most immediately impactful? Like, what is it that uh, the people watching this should know about what you do that can have a meaningful impact on their life. I'd say probably here in the grocery store is coming to do a label reading tour. 
because uh, it's something that dietitians in the hospital, if you get a chance to sit down with somebody, you just don't have every food that you would possibly buy in the grocery store to look at together. No, you look at one generic label, Yeah, right? you, you know, and you kind of learn how to read the label, which is very empowering just to learn how to figure out those numbers. They're not the most user-friendly things in the world. But when you come into the store and you do a label reading tour, we walk around the whole store together and um, we get to look at whatever you want to look at. You know, and uh, we get to look at, if you're focused on blood pressure, we get to focus on salt. And we can kind of tailor it towards the person that's coming to me that day, so. That can be incredibly yeah. eye-opening for people. I know oh, that when yeah. I was, you know, uh, first learning about it, uh, sodium's a great example. I mean, that's, that's one of those things that I really don't think people, day to day, have any idea of just how much they're consuming. Oh yeah, and so much salt is yeah. hidden in our foods. So it's a great step to, okay, I don't use salt anymore, I don't put it on the table, the salt shaker, but there's so much hidden in food that, you know, when you start reading those labels, it really opens your eyes. That was definitely a, a denial thing for me. Mm -hmm. I never, ever took a salt dish and put salt in anything. Mm -hmm. But my level of consumption of sodium at the end of the day, uh, you know, three times what it should have been. Oh, I mean, that's remarkable. Sure. And, and not having any idea. I wouldn't have even told you that I eat salty food because most of that sodium really is being used as a preservative, right? You know what? That's kind of a misconception is too it? because for years, you know, salt was a very important preservative in our, you know, our canned and jarred foods. Um, today's technology, we don't need salt. To, to canned food, it's only there because we're used to that flavor now. Really? So yeah. even when we see it in like, you know, frozen entrees and stuff like that, same it's, idea, it's just there because... Yeah, in the freezer, the temperature is doing all the preserving. It's true, that makes the sense. The salt is just there to make frozen food taste better. See, that's, yeah. that's good to know. <laughs> and if, you know, if you freeze good food, it's gonna taste good. If you freeze kind of cheap food, it's going to taste like cardboard, so right. you just throw in the salt. No matter how much salt you use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no matter what. But yeah, salt, that's a, that's a big one here in the frozen section and the processed foods. And um, another thing is just being aware of the calories that we consume and checking the serving size. Size, that's a big because one. Because when you look at the amount of calories on a bag of chips, that's not for the that's whole bag of chips. That's not for the chips. bag. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So just being aware of how many calories we take in and um, you know, a, a nice jog in the, park, in the park with your dog is not going to burn off as many calories as you think it is. That's right. Yeah. So uh, again, we're going to put a link to the uh, full schedule of events that you can sign up for here in September and October. These things fill up incredibly fast. Really quick, yeah. But if you're interested in classes, I mean, I do send out uh, emails every month. So once you've come to a class, I'll send you my schedule every month. But you can pick up the schedules here in the stores. We have them uh, available at the pharmacy. And when you walk in the door of the store, there's my sign with my picture on it. And you can pick up your own copy and just call me right away to register for a class because if you hum and haw about it, there might be no room left. So one of the things we want to do now that uh, we're talking to Janelle is actually take a look at some of the stuff that we eat anyway. And one of the things that you do here just talking to people every day mm -hmm. is kind of helping them analyze the choices that they're making in, in everyday life already. And there's always a way to improve no matter where you are, or what level you're at. Absolutely. There's always a way to improve. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in uh, a couple of weeks on the blog. Not too far away. You're gonna abandon us soon, right? You're off to have a baby, <laughs> yeah, which I guess is okay. <laughs> having a baby in about eight weeks. So. <laughs> but don't worry, there'll be a Sophie's dietitian here while I'm gone. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> well, thanks a million for talking to us today. Thank we'll you, Jay, to you again. and great to meet you and great progress. Well, thank you very much, and thanks awesome. for uh, thanks for letting us in your store. Yeah. <laughs>